Hey guys, here are you and to review the Dolapin Leg Black Avengers Infinity War 8 pack minifix. So, these are all of the boxes right here, and this set is recommended for your 6 and up. And this is set DLP 9077, and you have 8 minifix, and um, it's technically 7 minifix and 1 big fig. But yeah, so you have Iron Spider, Star Lord, Iron Man, Bruce Banner, Doctor Strange. Thor, Thanos, and Captain America. So, uh, the tops of the boxes, they just show you what they come with. You have Iron Spider, Star Lord, and you have Doctor Strange, Thor, and you got the ones for Iron Man, Bruce Banner, Thanos, and Captain America. So, this is the side of the box. They are all the same. Um, the the other side is also the same and this is the bottom and finally this is the back they are also all the same so it shows you the entire set and you, you know you have all the figures right here and you have the guardians uh, ship so it shows you that if you collect uh, four of them you can build the guardians uh, ship with the mini pod thingy so yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for the box so these are all of the instructions uh, right here and it shows you how to build the mini build um, that comes with the individual minifig but I won't be showing you that since it it's just a waste of time I'll be showing you the the combined build so yeah and after Doctor Strange, they just show you how to build the build that um, they have. And right here, the Iron Man. It shows you how to build the jetpack, something like that. And this one is a little bit ripped off, but yeah. And for the back of the Guardians ship instructions and you have this one this one and the last one so yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the instructions so the first minifig in the set here is Star Lord so he is armed with two of his uh, pistols um, this is not the pistols that he uses, uh, they are just Alien Conquest pistols, and it does kind of suck that uh, Dolapine skipped out on the mode. Um, yeah, but they are nice pieces, I guess. Uh, so you got his um, Superman hairpiece in uh, this color, and you got uh, his face print, and does have an alternate expression. Uh, this is his alternate expression, which is this angry expression. So the torso print right here, you have the jacket right there with all the design and stuff. You got the buttons, you got the undershirt, you got the belt. There's no leg printing for him. And this is the Star Lord from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets. And this is the back torso print. You got some lines right there just the jacket design and also here they kind of printed the top part of the jacket up to here so I'm not sure if that's intentional or it's a misprint but I believe it's a misprint so that does kind of suck but aside from that that's pretty much it for Star Lord and the second figure here is Thor so he's armed with the Stormbreaker but um, this hammer part here uh, it is missing the one by one plate piece so I'm not sure why but yeah it's just missing and this bottom part here this is supposed to be another piece which I'll show you later but yeah it it really sucks that they skipped out on a lot of modes uh, but yeah, so the figure itself, you have the short hair piece, uh, you got this normal expression, you got the torso print right here with his suit detailing, you got these uh, six of these kind of circle parts, uh, you have some blue on them, and there's no leg printing, and you got the back torso print.
and he does have an alternate expression which is this all powered up face and it looks a um, little bit weird um, but yeah so here's the original uh, figure uh, this is the Lego version and yeah the Stormbreaker it is supposed to be this mold so yeah it does suck that they skipped out on that uh, and the face print here is um, pretty accurate it's just that the printing is a little bit thinner but uh, the torso print you know looks pretty accurate the blue they might need to work on that but the, the back torso print does look pretty accurate actually it's pretty impressive and the alternate expressions they look um, they look just okay but um, this one here just looks way too weird but yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for Thor the third figure here is Iron Spider or Spider-Man so he has uh, the arm attachment at the back with four of these uh, gold colored arms and yeah um, they also they are also included in the original figure so let's uh, remove that and take a look at the face print so the face print uh, this is the face print from Spider-Man Homecoming and you got the torso print looks pretty nice you got the spider logo and you got the leg print thing you know looks pretty good as well and this is the back does have some webbing detail on the back of his head and you got the spider logo tough thing at the back and it is uh, also bad that they skipped out on the side arm printing yeah they have been skipping out on a lot of stuff lately so yeah that sucks a lot but um, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for Spider-Man. And this is the fourth figure right here, which is Doctor Strange. So he has the cloak of levitation. They didn't skip out on that, but um, they did skip out on the uh, printing on these uh, dish pieces. They they are supposed to be shields, um, shield pieces, kind of, and um, they they are also. Uh, supposed to have the uh, transparent piece that the figure holds on to so that it makes it look like a shield so yeah they also skipped out on that piece uh, and they skipped out on the printing of this uh, shield kind of magical thingy so yeah here are the dish pieces they are just in orange and you got the Superman hair piece and there's also supposed to be some white detailing on the sides so they also skipped out on that and um, the face turn here uh, is pretty normal and this is the alternate expression which is the angry expression and uh, the torso print here this is the torso same torso print from the Doctor Strange set and you got the eye of Agamotto you got the belt kind of part you got the leg print thing and it's pretty accurate and this is the back looks pretty nice you got all the rope detailing and yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for Doctor Strange so the fifth figure right here is Bruce Banner so he does come with a motorcycle but I'll show you that later uh, so this is the Bruce Banner from the Thor Ragnarok uh, set and uh, he is also included in the Hulkbuster uh, smash up set so you got the face paint right here you know looks pretty casual you got the nice uh, hair piece you got the torso print with the jacket and the undershirt and you got some pockets on the jacket and uh, it's not really a jacket but uh, it's more like a coat I guess but um, this is the back torso print this is a very very simple figure but yeah this is his Hulk kind of face so yeah very angry expression 
But aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for Bruce Banner. The sixth figure here is Captain America. So he is also included with a motorcycle, um, but I'll show you that later. So he is armed with um, two of his uh, shields and you, uh, they are just claw pieces. So you got the Superman hair piece and you got the face print with the beard and stuff. And he does not have any alternate expression, which is a little bit weird. But um, the torso print right here look, looks pretty nice. You got the Captain America suit. It's without the store, I guess. But you got the straps and you got the uh, white and red detailing. You got the belt. Doesn't have any uh, leg print though, but this is the back. You got the uh, shield holder top thing, and you got the belt, and you got some straps, and you know, just the um, suit detailing with some black lining. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Captain America. And the final minifig in this set is Iron Man. So he does come with his uh, jetpack type thing built and yeah it's also included in the f uh, original figure that came in the Thanos Ultimate Battle set so um, they do have the prints uh, fortunately for uh, the front part and there's uh, four of them right here um, so this is the back and kind of move that around but unfortunately they did not include the power blast pieces I believe that's what they're called uh, but instead they just included these water pieces so it looks a little bit weird but it's okay so let's um, remove the jetpack so he does have the studs on his uh, hands which uh, represent his uh, repulsor I believe and you got the helmet right here which looks pretty nice and you can open it up and uh, it you can see the this is Tony Stark with the heads up display and yeah there's no like um, kind of a blue background to it um, which is a little bit weird that they didn't do that but um, yeah I guess it still looks okay it's just that there's just some weird blue stuff on his face but yeah looks okay and yeah, uh, the same thing also happened with the Shingon figures. And this is the back face print, which is his uh, face without the heads up display. So the torso print right here, you got the R character, you have the gold parts, I guess. Um, yeah, you got some really nice suit detailing. You got the leg print right here, you got the boots. And this is the back torso print. You got all the gold parts, and yeah, it's just um, really, really nice uh, suit detailing. But um, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for Iron Man. So the big fig of the set here is Thanos. So he is armed with the sword right here. Uh, and this isn't the butter knife that came in the Thanos Ultimate Battle set. This is a Nexo Knight's uh, sword, just um, molded in this um, gray color. And does have a gold stud right here. And I guess it does look a little bit better than a butter knife. I think they also skipped out on the butter knife mode. So yeah, I guess it's, it's alright. Um, but uh, this is a different figure from the um, original figure that came in the Thanos Ultimate Battle set because um, the legs they are posed um, differently so you can't put him on a base plate um, he needs like a different base um, so he does have uh, his helmet right here which is removable so that's really cool you have uh, some printing on here yeah the printing they are pretty much the same um, to the original figure um, so you have this really angry expression you can turn the head you can remove it if you want to and you got this gold armor plating right here does have some really nice printing on there you got this blue part and you got um, this kind of belt part and this is the back 
Um, but aside from that, there's uh, not much else to the figure. So these are the two motorcycles included in this set. So uh, first off, this is the Bruce Banner motorcycle. Um, this is uh, a Hulk motorcycle, I guess, because you have um, the uh, Hulk color, which is green, and you have um, his face right here. So yeah, they are pretty nice decals and they have the wheels in this kind of tan color and the front right here you have the Avengers uh, logo so that's pretty cool and um, it's re really nice to get in this color and you got this grill piece at the back and you can just sit the figure right here so yeah that's it for the Hulk motorcycle so this is the motorcycle for Captain America um, there's not much to this motorcycle um, you got the uh, red um, round tile piece as the headlight um, and the back part here you got the uh, tile piece so yeah I guess it is in uh, pretty nice color aside from that there's um, not much else to these motorcycles and finally this is the Guardians uh, ship build so um, yeah it is pretty accurate to the original uh, Guardians uh, ship poly bag but there are a few differences but um, they do include uh, the pod that uh, Rocket Raccoon, Thor and Groot used to get to Nidavellir so yeah um, this is how it looks like just a couple of pieces but yeah um, so for the main ship itself um, you know you got the cockpit right here you can move it around but it's supposed to be in somewhere around here but um, you have these wings right here you can kind of move them around they are on a ball joint these smaller ones and this one is this one right here is on a te Technic um, connector piece and here you can kind of move it around like this or you can kind of move it uh, down so yeah and it's um, the same on both sides and here you got this round tile piece which is uh, where the Ravager symbol or logo is supposed to be and you have these purple studs right here and this is the back you have the purple studs as well and here um, in the original set there's supposed to be a connector piece that you can connect this pod to but now um, they skipped out on the piece mode so um, now it's replaced with this uh, ramp so that does kind of suck and you can lower it down but you know you can move it up but yeah aside from that um, there's not much else to the Guardian's uh, ship so overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it well I think the quality control of the set here is definitely great you do get some very nice prints um, they are very accurate and they look nice um, for like what you pay for and um, these motorcycles they are also very nice inclusion um, especially this uh, Hulk motorcycle because these decals they look pretty nice so yeah that's definitely great um, but for the modes I think they could have done better because they are just cutting corners. Um, they used to have like side leg printing, side arm printing, back leg printing on their figures. Um, they are very detailed figures but now they are just skipping out on those. So I'm not sure why but yeah that sucks like a lot. And Dolapin and Shingyon they, they are both uh, managed by the same company and Shingyon's uh, version of Iron Spider uh, has the has the side arm printing so I'm not sure why Dolapin doesn't have it so that sucks a lot and they did mold the Star Lord uh, blaster and also they did not mold the bottom part of the Stormbreaker they did mold the butter, butter knife for uh, Thanos they did mold the power blast pieces for Iron Man 
and yeah aside from that I think that's it um, and they skipped out on the printing for this piece and also the side arm printing so they skipped out on a lot of stuff and they cut a lot of corners so the only reason that you want to get this set is probably for this or for this build or maybe for Thanos but aside from that I think you should just get the Shingon version because the Shingon version is much better they have a uh, really nice printing and yeah they do come with some very nice accessories and they are all printed so overall if uh if you want accurate modes i don't recommend you gang this if you want this guardians uh, ship build maybe you could uh build it from your own pieces but yeah uh, if you want this you should probably get the poly bag if you can but if you can't maybe it's worth it getting this set but um, I just don't see the value in getting this set because they just cut a lot of corners so overall I don't recommend this set but if you still want to buy the set I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon